Do you feel like your beats are fiery, but the obstacle is that your drums don't hit nearly as hard as the producers you hear on YouTube or elsewhere? Your sounds are clashing, too much muddiness in your lows or your beats in general. You try so many techniques to fix the problem but still cannot find a solution. Well, if you can relate, then this video is for you because I will be showing you effective tips to get your beats from sounding like this. this well if that's the mix you're looking for let's hop straight into the video with the first technique that is overlooked in most videos here on youtube which is sound selection though it may be overlooked sound selection is most crucial in this day and age if you want to make hard beats but you have trash sounds it is possible but the effort that goes there is too much and i feel like it's unnecessary rather than getting some drum kits there are free fire drum kits out there like my 100 subs drum kit in the description below 100 percent free the problem with that is that the sounds are recycled but they are better than trash sounds if you want unique sounds i have a multi kit coming up so make sure to save up it is an all-in-one bundle it consists of a high quality drum kit 100 percent royalty free loops and a one-shot kit so you don't want to miss that in the description below there's a soul gang group make sure to join to stay updated now back to sound selection let's go in depth and see if this sound selection theory actually works i could now here in nfl studio i have prepared three different drum kits starting from trash to unique i use the same drum pattern and all of these drums are unmixed. I could let's hop into the first pattern, trash sound selection. Here's how it sounds. Right off the bat, you can hear that these drum sounds are weak and they don't sound professional. Making this sound professional will be a total waste of time, bro. So off to the next drum pattern, which is regular or common drum sounds. With these drums, I can say all if not most producers have them. Don't get me wrong, they are fire, but it's hard to cut through the noise when using them because you'll be almost identical with the other producers unless your drum patterns are unique. So if you're wondering, these are the drums I'm talking about. You can get this drum kit in the description below for free. Ayo, all I can say is that these sound 10 times better than the first set of drums plus they have that punchiness and they're hard hitting. The downside is they are commonly used by most producers as I said before. Now next is the most unique drum kit. Not only because it's mine but I designed the sounds and all I was aiming for was quality bro no cap. So let me keep quiet and let it talk for itself. Bro, listen to that, man. Get out of here, man. I don't have much to say, but to say fire, fire, and fire, bro. So I have prepared a melody so that we can test these in the context of a real beat. So let's listen to them. Now you know that sound selection is important, now it's time to make a beat and mix it. When mixing, you create some space and give each sound a purpose, you get me? Whether it's to fill the highs for some hi-hats and stuff or the lows for some 808 and bass, each and every sound should have its own pocket. Now that leads me to another point. You may be asking yourself, what if I can't mix so like top so I cannot mix bro? Chill, ah, gotcha. In that case, reference mixing will be the best thing you'll ever hear if you don't know about reference mixing let me put it in basic terms let's take it as art it's basically taking another artist's picture and redrawing it in your own canvas musically we are taking someone else's mix 
and implementing it in our own mix does that sound interesting bro with this technique you can even achieve a metro booming type mix if you do it right bro if you're not using this technique i don't know why I, bro I, let me show you man let, let's just hop straight into fl studio if you know how to mix your beats by ears that's good for you but today i want to focus on my brothers who haven't trained their ears yet if you're starting out on mixing reference mixing should be your friend as i've already explained it now it's time to put it in action I'll be using my own beat to avoid copyright, but you can use any beat that has a mix you like. Now drag and drop the reference beat. I may say reference track instead of reference beat. It's because like you don't only use it for beats, but for tracks as well. The most important thing here is that we don't want it to share the same master chain as our current beat because the reference beat is already mastered. So yeah, we want it to be independent. You get me? So let me show you. Okay, as you can see now, I'm playing the beat, but look when I decrease the master fader. The reference track also decreases and look when i unroute the reference beat from our master it mutes so we don't want that right okay cool to fix that go to the reference track chain go to the bottom left corner you'll notice a black tab that says none right click on it then select alt 1 dash alt 2 after you do that make sure to unroute the reference track from the master and play it if it plays that means you did a good job cool that was the hardest part all you have to do now is replicate the levels of each and every instrument first thing i'll do is decrease the reference speed so that the kick hits at around negative six decibels cool now i'll start with my kick i want it to have the same gain as our reference tracks kick then i follow up with my clap or snare so on and so forth pretty much i'll do the same step for all these instruments so i'll skip this part right now let's listen to our reference beat and here's our own beat sounding like metro booming type shit then you start going on to youtube and you want to upload your beat only to find out that other producers drums are hitting harder than mike tyson on steroids bro like you start feeling small like oh no my beats are trash chill bro chill bro you only missed the last step bro why are you doing this to yourself bro stick with me this one is that type thing that makes your drums go mastering master your beats if you want to market them on youtube or you giving them to an artist but if like you have an artist in the studio and stuff you can master it with the vocals but here we want to market our beats right right now mastering if done correctly you can get your beat sounding better like this beat oh yeah um yeah like that beat it was fire but here's the same beat without any mastering man judging if you were an artist which one would you pick comment down below but a big but in this one Woo! hey hey focus because if your beats are too loud they won't be pleasant like this beat bro Okay, okay, let me uh, uh, let me let me stop it right there. So the real question is how loud should my beats be? Well, you can reference mix the master uh, what? You can reference master that. So basically, you can do it by ear or you can do it by meters like you lean loudness meter, right? Let me show you what I mean. Cool for the mastering part, we also use the same reference beat because it has the loudness we are going for. Remember we reduced it before. Now bring it back to its original gain make sure to decrease the volume of your headphones or speakers we don't want to lose our hearing at the early stage so do that cool with that done i'll open a 3d soft clipper and a maximus on my master don't get me wrong there are many ways to master so i'll be using one of the ways that are there in mastering so this is not the only way to master basically with your soft clipper and maximus please do make sure that your soft clipper is under the maximus then listen to your reference beat and try to match the gain Um, 
as you can see now, is pretty much the same loudness. But what if you don't trust your ears? In your case, there's a free one called the Yulin Loudness Media. How to use that is you place one in your reference beat and one in your master. Check the LUFS on your reference beat, then replicate that to your own beat. And that can pretty much get the job done. Then your final result should be something like this. You may be saying, Ayo, top, so now I know how to mix my beats and muster them and get them sounding hard. But, but, bro, I cannot even make a beat, bro. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Ah, got you. So make sure to check this video out because I'll be showing you how to make a beat from scratch. And subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Top Soul, signing out. I love you, man. Peace.